Today, we're going to be talking about rates and ratios. Let's just review the definition of a ratio. So remember, the definition of a ratio is a comparison of two numbers or quantities. So if a gallon of orange juice contains three parts oranges and two parts sugar, then the ratio comparing the oranges and sugar can be written as three to two. You can also write a ratio of three using a semicolon or a fraction, three over two, okay? So remember, a fraction bar represents division. So when the first number being compared is less than the second, the ratio is usually written as a fraction in simplest form. So if I have two six here, what is the greatest common factor of two and six? Well, that's gonna be three. So I can then reduce my denominator to a three, and that means in order to go from six to three, I have to divide by two, which gives me a one. So let's do some examples of ratios. Express the ratio nine cards out of 18 cards in the deck as a fraction in simplest form. So I have nine out of 18. Is this in simplest form or can I make it in simplest form? Well, it's not in simplest form, so what's, what can I reduce by? I can reduce by a nine, I can reduce my numerator and my denominator by a nine, and then simplest form would be one half. Example two gets a little bit more complicated. It says, note when writing a ratio involving measurements, both quantities have to be the same unit of measure. So this says express the ratio two feet to 16 inches as a fraction of simplest form. Well, what do you notice here? This is feet and this is inches. So what do I have to do? Okay, so let's just write this out. I have two feet over 16 inches. Okay, well, I have to make them, the easiest way to do this would be to make them in inches, right? So how many, let's see, so I can keep them in inch, I can keep this in inches, 16 inches. So how do I go from, uh, how would I convert my feet to inches? Well, how many inches in a foot? 12, and I have two, so 12 inches in a foot, and I have two feet. So that means my numerator is going to be 24 inches. So the ratio that I'm working with here is 24 over 16 what would be my GCF here? What number goes in to both 24 and 16? Oh, eight. So I can divide top and bottom by eight and get three over two. Now that isn't so hard, is it? Okay, so let's move on. Let's talk about a rate versus a unit rate. Okay, a rate is simply a ratio of two measurements of two measurements having different kinds of units different kind of units. So for example, 75 miles in five hours. Miles and hours are your different units. $20 for three pounds. Dollars and pounds are your different units. Okay. So the unit rate is when a rate is simplified. so that 
the denominator is one. Okay, so an example of unit rate would be $5 per pound, which means $5 per one pound. Okay, so here's an example. A package of 20 crayons costs $18, and a package of 30 crayons costs $28. Which package has a lower cost per crayon? Find and complete the unit rate of the package. Okay, so let's compare our first ratio. So we have $18 for 20 crayons. So if I divide this, okay, if I divide, I'm going to divide numerator. I'm going to divide 18 divided by 20, and I get 0.9, okay? So this is going to be $0.9, essentially 90 cents here, for one crayon. Now let's compare the other ratio, $28 for 30 crayons. Okay, so over here, I'm going to divide 28 over 30, and I get 0.93. So this is 0.93 dollars, so 93 cents for one crayon. So which one is the better deal? Comparing, do I wanna spend 90 cents a crayon or 93 cents? I like, I would prefer to spend less money. So the pack of 20 crayons has the lower cost or a crayon. This is so useful when you're going shopping at like Target or Kroger's or wherever you go shopping and, and you're trying to compare packages. This is how you do it.